our next grip is the semi-western grip, the preferred grip of the professional players today, college, and more of the competitive level. Um, this grip is one bevel over from the eastern forehand grip over here to this bevel. Your knuckle on that will, land, will stay on that grip. Your heel stays on that same bevel. One quick tip is you should spread your fingers out to, to hold any of these grips so you have a little more surface area for, for your grip. If I'm going to hold my semi-western around the handle and hold it, which would be a, really the correct grip, here it, it's not comfortable in the hand by not spreading the fingers. So you want to make sure that you're opening up your hand and getting a little more uh, surface area on the grip. It's a little more comfortable in the hand also. This allows you to hit more of a modern game and you'll be able to hit with more of what we call a fanning motion. The disadvantages with the continental and the eastern grip is you really can't fan over the ball. Therefore, the grip dictates the swing. The more you go to the semi-western, western angle, the more your racket path will fan across the ball and get into what we call more angular momentum. With a grip such as the Continental here, I cannot hit topspin because, again, it, it's, it's not going to work because of the angle of the racket and the wrist. It's anatomically impossible to hit that. So as we start to go with these more severe grips with spinning, uh, with spin, we can hit with a lot more fanning and rotation of topspin.